This video will provide information surrounding Year 11 curriculum and the Record of School Achievement. The Record of School Achievement, known as the ROSA, is a credential given when a student leaves school after completing Year 10 but before receiving their higher school certificate. At the completion of Year 10, every student at St Columbus Catholic College who meet the eligibility requirements will leave school with a ROSA credential. In order to be eligible for the ROSA, students need to have satisfactorily completed Ness's mandatory curriculum requirements and sat for and or submitted and made a serious attempt at the ROSA assessment task. Students need to have completed Year 10 to be eligible for their ROSA. The good news is to this point, all of your sons and daughters in Year 11 have met the requirements for the ROSA. If they leave school at any time between now and completing their HSC, they will receive the credential of the ROSA. The Record of School Achievement is awarded to students who leave school after Year 10 and before completing the HSC. It is a cumulative credential. The ROSA records academic achievement up until the date a student leaves school and is useful to students leaving school prior to completing the HSC because they can show it to employers or places of further learning such as TAFE. The ROSA credential is based on school-based assessments and not external tests. It is not a credential for everyone. It is specifically for those students who choose to leave school after the end of Year 10 but before they receive their HSC. Students must meet requirements of the preliminary HSC to be eligible for the HSC. Most students will be eligible for a ROSA after four years of secondary school. To qualify for a ROSA, a student must have attended an accredited school, completed courses of study that satisfy NESA curriculum and assessment requirements, and completed Year 10. This means that a student must attend school up until the final day of Year 10. If a student is not eligible for a ROSA, they can receive a transcript of study, which lists all of their results up until the day they leave school. VET credentials will be sent to students on completion of courses regardless of whether they are eligible for a ROSA or have left school. Students going on to complete the HSC will receive their results for Year 10 courses and grades in an all-inclusive HSC results package. All students can access their e-record. This is an interim result report that can be downloaded via the Student Secure Students Online account. Life Skills Outcomes and Content provide a curriculum option for a small percentage of students who have special education needs and for whom the regular outcomes and content are not appropriate. The Life Skills Outcomes and Content are designed to provide outcomes and content that is more relevant, accessible and therefore more meaningful for these students. The Profile of Student Achievement is the additional report to the ROSA which includes the life skills outcomes achieved for each life skills course completed. Any questions surrounding life skills, please be in contact with the College Leader of Learning Learning Support if you have a student enrolled in life skills. Some students in Year 11 have elected to study a VET course. VET courses are assessed on competency achievement, meaning students demonstrate industry standard skills, knowledge and assessment with a HSC examination for so those students who want the VET course to contribute towards their ATAR. VET courses have a mandatory workplace requirement. This is a minimum of 70 hours with 35 hours completed each year. Students need to show a minimum standard of literacy and numeracy to receive their HSC. It is another way of supporting and ensuring students have a functional level of literacy and numeracy. There are three tests that students complete. There are tests in reading, writing and numeracy. Each test can be attempted four times a year with tests open for students from years 10 to 12 and an additional three years if needed. Specific support and exemptions can apply to eligible students. Results from these tests can be used to show levels of literacy and numeracy to potential employers and accompany applications for courses. Literacy and numeracy tests can be delivered at any time during the year. Tests at the college are delivered by the Head of Pedagogy and Analytics over the course of Year 10 and Year 11 if needed. Taking the test does not mean the student has to leave school. As mentioned previously, the tests allow students to show a minimum standard of literacy and numeracy to receive their HSC or show potential employers levels of literacy and numeracy as well as accompany applications for courses if necessary. The tests are taken on a computer at school and there is one test for reading, one test for writing, and one test for numeracy. 
Current Year 11 students have already been working on passing their literacy and numeracy tests throughout Year 10 so far. All students have passed the reading test. Nearly all students have passed the numeracy test. Half of all students have passed the writing test and the remaining tests will be scheduled with students over terms one and two. Schools are responsible for requesting a ROSA. Once the school has placed a request for a ROSA, NESA will post it to the student's home address within three weeks. As part of the request process, schools generate an e-record and check the student's course information is correctly recorded. This e-record can be used as an interim result report until the formal ROSA credential arrives at the student's postal address. At any time, all students in 11 and 12 can access an online e-record to provide when seeking casual work. A student will be considered to have satisfactorily completed a course if, in the principal's view, there is sufficient evidence that the student has followed the course developed or endorsed by the board, applied themselves with diligence and sustained effort to the set tasks and experiences provided in the course by the school, and achieved some or all of the course outcomes. It is about making a serious attempt at every task. A non-serious attempt on a task will be considered as a student not applying themselves with diligence. A Year 11 student should make studies their priority. Firstly, don't book holidays or non-essential travel in school terms. Leave is not approved unless it is an emergency or in exceptional circumstances. If you're planning to take your child out of the college on leave, a request must be made to the principal in writing at least two weeks before the planned departure. Students are responsible for ensuring that they go and see the class teacher or relevant leader of learning regarding arrangements for any missed assessment tasks due to leave. More detailed information regarding leave can be found on page 12 of the Assessment Information Handbook. Secondly, students need to ensure that all assessments and classwork are completed throughout the duration of the year and excellence attendance is vital for success. Finally, study hall is open for senior students from 7.30am each morning. The college stage six mentor coach works in Xavier and he'll be working very closely on individualised learning program for each student. This is highly beneficial if students take up the option of study hall now that they are in year 11. This will help students in organising their time, keeping up with their study and using their time to revise key content learned in class. If you have any concerns regarding your child's learning, please feel free to contact the relevant subject leader of learning on the below contact details.